Here's a quick sketch for a new idea that I had. It's basically two halves of a heart that come together. Let's see if we can make this thing real. So I hopped into SolidWorks and the first step was to try to rough out the upper mechanism. As a design choice, I wanted there to be two different motions, the swing of the arm and then the rotation of the halves of the heart. I started with the left side of the mechanism and then once I had something looking pretty good, I mirrored all the parts to see how the heart halves would line up when they reached the center. Looks good in CAD. So I decided to 3D print some test parts to make sure that it actually works in real life. This is a little trick that I like to use so I don't spend too much time working on something that might ultimately not actually work out. In this case, it looks like it's actually gonna work out so we can keep moving to the bottom half of the mechanism. I decided to use a pin and slot on the lifting bar to give the mechanism the two degrees of freedom necessary to lift the arms up. Another design choice I made for this sculpture is I wanted there to be a swipe gesture to activate the motion of the sculpture. Often I'll create a quick sketch before I jump into CAD to try to work out what the mechanism is going to look like. In this case, the plan is to use the swipe gesture to activate a horizontal rack and pinion, which is coupled to a vertical rack and pinion, which will lift the lifting bar. After roughing out the mechanism, I refined all the parts, ensuring that I had the right gear ratios to get the motion that I needed. Now that I had something that looked like it was going to work, it was time to get the parts ready for print, adding coupling posts, making sure there was the right clearance between parts, and adding some chamfers for style. It's been a crazy long day, but I think I got something working. There's a lot of sliding parts, so I'm not sure how it's going to work, but let's get them on the printer and I'll catch you when they're done. All right, the parts are ready to go, so let's put this thing together. I wish I could tell you that everything went together smoothly and it worked perfectly the first time, but this was definitely not the case on this build. Right off the bat, there was a problem where the rack on the lifting bar was disengaging from the pinion. This is because of the clearances required for the 3D printing parts. They have to be a little bit loose. Rather than printing a whole new spine, I created this attachment that I drilled and screwed into place with some thread forming screws. This was to test that it would actually solve the problem before I decided to print a full new spine. It looked like it would help, so I decided to keep moving. I finished assembling the rest of the sculpture, and luckily there is no more glaring design flaws. Everything seemed to fit together really nicely from this point on. So it's time to give it the first test. It kind of worked, but obviously it wasn't quite where it needed to be at this point. So I spent some time fiddling with the sculpture, trying to get a better idea of where the problems were coming from. I decided to increase the size of the hearts so there would be a larger angle between the arms when the heart halves come together. Hopefully this will make it so it doesn't get stuck. Printed the parts out and put the thing together. A little bit better, but it looks like the hearts are still coming together at too much of an angle. So it was back in the CAD, make the change, print it out, and nope. It looks like the right side is being pushed up faster than the left side, curling the right side in more. Maybe another problem caused by the clearances needed for 3D printing. I printed a new lifting bar with a slightly raised left side, disassembled the whole thing, reassembled the whole thing, and still not great. This iteration was almost it but I consider myself to be a professional and almost just doesn't cut it. So reluctantly, I decided to iterate one more time and this is what we got. Hopefully adding the second pinion will allow the lifting bar to push on the arms equally, causing the hearts to come together at the exact same time. So it was once again a disassembly and a reassembly, but now finally, nope. But this time it was a stupid mistake on my part. I forgot to make sure that the additional rack would clear the post at the back of the spine. No worries, that's what Dremels were made for. And after some quick subtractive manufacturing, Boom, perfect clearance. And now after I've lost count of how many iterations. Finally. Fuck. Okay, it's working. Let's finalize that last part, print it out and throw it into place. <sighs> this one gave me a bit of a hard time, but finally I'm proud to present to you, love it first swipe. This sculpture represents the ease at which we can get everything in our society today, including love. You just swipe to the right and boom, you have a full heart. What we can't forget, if something comes that easily, it goes that easily. And as soon as you take your finger off of the swiper, boom, it's gone. Thank you so much for following along on this journey. If you want to print this model yourself, the files are now available on my website. As you can see, it doesn't always work out the first time, but that's the engineering process. You iterate, you recreate, and then you keep moving forward. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video.